everybody doing? I hope you're all well. This is the Alan Parsons Project complete albums collection. Um, I saw this for sale and um, it was online. So I decided to investigate. Um, I only have one album by Alan Parsons and that's Ammonia Avenue. Um, I listened to the music on Spotify and decided, yeah, I'll go for the, um, the box set. This is an 11 CD set, um, all 10 studio albums, mini vinyl replicas, no booklet with rare and unseen photos, plus the unreleased album, The Sicilian Defense. The back of the box um, has all the albums. Uh, first one is Tales of Mystery and Imagination, Edgar Allan Poe. As far as I know, this one is the 1987 remixed version, so it's got some technology from the 80s in there. Um, the original album came out in 1976, uh, so it's a pity that they didn't put the original in, because uh, I don't have that. I, Robot is next, Pyramid, Eve. The Theron of a Friendly Card, Eye in the Sky, that was a pretty big album in 82. Ammonia Avenue, Vulture Culture, Stereotomy, Gaudi and The Sicilian Defence. That's a, an unreleased album from 1979. So let's open it up with my trusty Torinox. I love box sets, um, especially um, when it's... Um, mini CD replicas because I like card sleeves on CDs they take up less space and uh, they look good although sometimes the um, artwork can be disappointing so let's open it oh that's very nice Brooklyn. That's great. Um, I remember one time, I think back in the 70s, Alan Parton was over there to get the best singer, best songwriter, best engineer, best whatever, this and that. He didn't sing on his albums as far as I know. Um, Parsons worked with uh, the Beatles uh, in the 60s. Um, he also um, worked with Pink Floyd. Um, notably on Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, so yeah, he's uh, around. And when the band um, formed uh, over the years, in the last 20 years, live, um, he sings lead vocals on some time. Yeah. From 1976, we have Tales of Mystery and Imagination, Edgar Allan Poe. He was a poet. Um, this is the 1987 remixed version. Um, there's also um, some re recording over some tracks. I think he did it that way because um, Alan is a, an engineer, a sound engineer, a producer. And I think he um, wanted to. Um, Make it sound better on compact disc or something like that. Um, I'm not sure. Um, and uh, oh yeah, I forgot to look at the disc. The <laughs> Mercury, that's yeah, unusual. I've seen that label for a long time. I Robot. Um, this is from 1977. Got a very kind of prog cover on it. Hasn't it? Um, yeah. If you like Genesis, Peter Gabriel, and other British 70s prog, you probably like Alan Parsons. Uh, Pyramid, that's from 1978. Um, yeah, you see the, the discs now follow with kind of a, a theme. They're the artwork wise. Eve, this is from 1979. Um, beautiful Women with um, kind of knitting over their faces but if you look closely you can see um, they've got warts and stuff and spots and stuff like that. 
deliberately done like that. To trick the fool the eye. So, 1980, the turn of a friendly card. Mm. There's a great track in this called Time. I love that track. Um, Wolfson actually sings the vocals on that. Can't, great, I can't wait to hear that. In its stereophonic remastered glory. Eye in the Sky, this is from 1982. This was a big album. Um, Wilson again sings on that track. Um, he was the keyboard player in the band. And there's a lot of session musicians on the, on the Alan Parsons album. Um, this is from 1984, it says here. Um, Don't Answer Me is a great track on that. Ammonia Avenue is the album. Um, yeah. Vulture Culture. familiar with these ones. Um, Stereotomy. I think just got an award for its artwork on vinyl. Um, came with kind of a red sleeve with it. The image stands out. Yeah. These are digital recordings as far as I know. Uh, Gaudi. This is from 1987. Previous album is from um, 19... 85. Um, more, this is more or less the last album that the band recorded. Uh, and then you have the Sicilian Defense. That's um, a move in chess, as far as I know. This was um, unreleased until this box set and, uh, in 2014. Um, it's an album of instrumentals and it was recorded in. 1979 as far as I know. So yeah, that's it. Um, there it is. Um, so it's a pity that they didn't put in um, the um, 1976 original mix of um, Tales of Mystery and Imagination. Um, I don't know why, but it would have been nice to have both versions. Um, it has been released as a deluxe edition with both versions. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's it. That's all there is to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe and take care.